Okay, today I'm putting together a chicken coop. We've uh, talked about getting chickens, I don't know, two or three years. We keep talking about it every spring. And we keep putting it off, putting it off. So this year, I'm gonna build a chicken coop. I've started it already. I got myself some lumber. And uh, rather than bore you with all the building and everything, we're basically going to build a four by six chicken coop and it's going to be up off the ground and have a run underneath it so four by four legs they're going to be buried into the ground about a foot and what i'll do is i'll put it in the position where i want it and mark where i have to dig and then dig down a foot level the whole building out pour some concrete in a couple of these and fill the other ones in probably concrete on the corners will do but seven sixteenths for the floor uh, these are some cedar wood that I cut boards out of off a tree on the property. And I used some 2x4 for the cross members up underneath. I got three of them. And that's it. Just a basic square floor or rectangular floor and six legs for now. Um, this whole project is going to look... This whole project's gonna look something like this when we get all done. Uh, let's see here. It's gonna have a, the walls are gonna come out crooked. It's got the base, got your four by fours, and this wall's gonna come up like that. And the peak of the roof's gonna be up here, and we're gonna do a curved roof coming down like that so it's all off crooked you know nothing plumb nothing square except for the floor the walls will be straight but they're gonna be this one's gonna be shorter than this one over here a little door just big enough for us to get into somewhere like that and probably a window like that so um, I've done the base uh, down here you can see that done the base down here that was my step one and moving on to step two i'm figuring out these right here i've got two by 12s and i'm gonna try and rip or not rip but try and cut two you know this side and this side i'm gonna do a set of three of those rafter trusses whatever you want to call them coming down out down the sides so that's the plan um the base is done and I'm figuring out how I'm going to lay out for this right here. And I'll show you how I do it uh, in the next little clip. Okay, so I know there's probably a few different ways you could do this. Um, this is how I just did it. I had a small piece of scrap left over from something. I drilled some screws into this wood and just kind of lined it up like this. So that I could see kind of an arch going along how I wanted. Um, the screws are just holding it. The only thing I did check on, get it back on here, there we go. The only thing I did check on is I wanted this piece to be about three inches. So I just set these screws about three inches. I didn't need this one in here. Um, but that's gonna be my first piece coming through there. So set a screw here up here so that it would come close to the corner I wouldn't be wasting much wood and the same thing down here then uh, I drew a line across all of this I took a compass and put some lead in it set it to the right width and just dragged it along lightly like that one thing you want to make sure is you're not going like this or like that you want to keep it the same all the time and drag it along you can see it's not super precise, but uh, these aren't going to be, you know, the whole building is a little crooked anyway, so it's going to be close enough. Once I get it all done, uh, we'll be good. My goal was to get two out of each board and get the longest I could, and then the next one will probably be somewhere in here. Um, so I just did one like this, flipped it over, did it like that. I'll cut right on the line. They'll come out close enough. And these two here will be my templates. That's how I laid it out. And 
I'm going to pull a couple more measurements, just make sure it's going to work before I cut the board. But I think that's uh, going to be sufficient. That worked out pretty good. I'm actually able to do it with my skill saw, it saves a lot of time. Cutting this out with a jigsaw has been crazy. Okay, so that didn't turn out too bad. And that's just about what I'm looking for. So, I'm glad I could do that with my circular saw, skill saw. I was working on that blade a little bit, but it saved a lot of time. Uh, my jigsaw is a crappy black and decker one I think I didn't even uh, didn't even try and get it out I knew it was just gonna be too much so they worked out pretty good there's two pieces done uh, I'm gonna trace them on to the next two boards and cut them out